Hello and welcome to today's video by Diary of a Trader. And today we're gonna to go over divergences. And you may have heard of them before, you may have even seen some type of explanation on them, but I would really like to go through with you and kind of do a just a real quick rundown of what a divergence is. And we're really only gonna be focusing on two kinds, regular and hidden divergence. And to do this, we need an indicator to help us, uh, well, an indicator has to be used like an oscillator, like uh, the MACD or, or the RSI. Um, and if we're in trading view, we just use the, type in RSI and indicators and strategies. And here we get the RSI, relative strength index. And so what we're looking for is something that does not appear to be in structure with price and the oscillator. What we like to see is this kind of activity right here. All right, this is a sign of some normal activity where we have prices rising and the RSI is rising. And we're getting the same kind of higher lows and the same kind of higher highs. A divergence appears when we are noticing that the, the change is different. And so an example right now, just looking at the screen here, is, uh, is, is called regular bearish divergence or bullish divergence, sorry. So bullish divergence usually occurs at the end of a down move or near, it, yeah, near the end of a down move and signals a either long-term or short-term trend change. <clears throat> and so what we look for in bullish divergence is we want to see in price, we want to see that there are lower lows, but then in the oscillator, we want to see higher lows. So here we have lower lows in price, but then we have higher lows in our oscillator. And so what this is telling us is that while price is going down, the momentum to push it down is, is, not, is not there. It's, it's not very honest. And what this is telling us is that as, as we're moving forward in time and prices are, are, are continuing to move forward in time, we're actually getting a lot more momentum and, and volatility inside this the price action itself so the divergence occurs when we have lower lows in price but higher lows in our oscillator and that's an example of regular bullish divergence now regular bearish divergence that's just the inverse so what we're looking for in regular bearish divergence is it it, it usually occurs at the top or near the top of an uptrend so we have a clear uptrend here and then what do we notice we see a difference here there's a there's a high here's a high and then here's a higher high but there's a lower high right here so this is really just the inverse of of bullish divergence this is bearish divergence and so what we notice when we see bearish divergence is we have a series of we have two points of higher highs but then we have lower highs in the oscillator all right and we can see that when these appear we, we generally have a high probability <coughs> of prices correcting themselves and going in the direction of the title of the divergence so if this is regular bearish divergence then we expect prices to to fall down now probably one of the more misunderstood and, and more difficult to locate uh, is, is hidden divergence. And hidden divergence, okay, so regular divergence tells you that something in a trend is about to change. Like it signals the possibility of a change in direction of the overall trend. Hidden divergence occurs within the trend and it tells you that the trend is going to continue. So Think of a think of just a pullback. You know, a pullback will usually signal that we've had some type of hidden divergence. So hidden doesn't mean it's sneaky. Hidden divergence just means that it is within the trend. So if we have an uptrend, like we did right here. All right. So we're looking for in in hidden divergence. We're looking for higher lows in price, but lower lows in the oscillator and sometimes these are a little bit more difficult to find because they don't happen as frequently and if we're looking for them in an uptrend sometimes we got to zoom back a bit here 
and see if we can find some higher lows in price but lower lows in the oscillator. Sure, right here. This is a perfect one. So a sign that, that we may continue higher in the uptrend is right here. This is a good example of hidden bullish divergence. And I tell you what, when you can start to spot hidden divergences as easily as you can regular divergences, this is where you're going to get a lot of your positive trades making a lot more money because hidden divergence is, I, I feel like it's more powerful and more con, uh, it's more confirmatory of a move continuing or going in that direction than in regular divergence. That's just my opinion, but regular divergence again or hidden divergence occurs within a trend so we have this move up okay and we see prices coming coming down trading back up and then what would have you done right here if you if you were long down here and you saw this big red bar paint on the screen you probably consider going short especially when you see price traveling down but if we would have looked at our oscillator here we see that the the price continues to move higher the lows get higher but in the oscillator, our lows are getting lower. All right. And so what this tells us is, is that there is not a lot of momentum in the in the down in the downwards pressure of the current trend. It's telling us that there's there, that it's inherently weak, that this drive down is, is 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 weak. And so when we start to see it bounce out of the zone, we, we can expect to see prices to continue higher for for a, you know, an, an undetermined amount of time. All right, so that is, this is an example of hidden divergence and that is hidden bullish divergence is higher low in price but lower lows in our oscillator. And to identify some, some uh, uh, hidden divergence in a bear trend, so bearish hidden divergence, we're looking for lower highs in price but higher highs in the oscillator. And again, sometimes those are those are hard to find as well. So we're looking for lower highs in price and higher highs in the oscillator. And probably right here, this is a good spot. It's not the steepest, but it is still technically a higher high. Oops. We have lower high here. So this is hidden bearish divergence. Again, this occurs within the trend. So it tells us that the trend is going to continue. It tells us that we have not met a reversal. <coughs> Excuse me. So we see these higher highs in our oscillator, but lower highs in price. And again, this is just the inverse of the bullish hidden divergence where we see that, you know, even though prices are, are uh, uh, rising or as prices are going down, it's still strong to move down. We're not getting enough oomph to, to trade it higher. And so this is an example of hidden bearish divergence. All right. So those are the two primary kinds of divergence that, that you'll spot in the markets and implementing these into your charts. Are, it, that is going to be a very, very powerful form of analysis, something very easy. And you can go back and practice this, you know, just throw up the RSI on your chart and you can go back and, and just, you know, mark down and, and, and practice looking through past price action and find those divergences within price and the, and the oscillator and see how many of them you can spot as you move. Um, it, when you have these on daily charts, Divergences that appear on daily and weekly charts are going to be extremely powerful and way and, and, and very very relevant. And when they show up, they they are they are powerful movers. Uh, you know, especially if we look back to where the low of the euro was back in December of 2016, we we saw this amazing divergence appear. And when that showed up, we just kind of triggered a, a very long bull run in the euro. And so when you notice divergences, be very, very aware of them because they are powerful signals. It turns lagging indicators into leading indicators. It gives you an early warning sign that nobody else is seeing that lets you know that prices are about to reverse.
or continue with hidden divergence. So hope you found this video interesting and I look forward to talking to you later in our next video. Bye-bye.